I wouldn't say accusation. You know, we also have to stay outside of the story. So, what so your side is that you gave them and yes, they failed. Yes, yes. So we presented, for example, maybe they are saying that, you know, maybe if they look at uh, maybe our debt parts by the next three years, the country's debt to GDP is going to be this. We also have uh, our debt sustainability analysis. We have our policy intent that is very clear. And we disagree with... Uh, with what the, the assumptions that underlies their, mm. their credit. And, and what I is think that? it's important that because we are in the market, we also have to state our side of the story because as a sovereign, our job is to make sure mm. that we also defend your, you know, your sacrifice. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't change. So fundamentally, problem. this appeal, it's not, you don't, you don't expect that Moody's would reverse or change its Rating. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. So is it fair to say that if I'm an investor, all you're saying is you want the investor before they make the decision. You've seen Moody's, you've seen s and you've seen Fitch. See us. Look at look at what we are also saying about ourselves and use that to make... It, it doesn't happen like that. You know, usually those happens when, for example, in this case, in mm -hmm. the case of Moody's in particular, we disagree of some, uh, with some of the assumptions. I guess I'm asking the, the question, what, the, the purpose of the review, if you're, you don't expect that Moody's will downgrade, the purpose of, the, of your um, petition, you know, if you don't expect Moody's to downgrade, what's the purpose of, of that then? No, the, the main purpose of the, of the appeal, appeal yes. is to say that, look, the analyst has done uh, his or her work. We have had a, a conversation we asked questions about what they have done. We presented our case as well. And then we are expecting that collectively we'll have like an opinion that reflects mm. something. But if the analyst says, this is, I stand by my days. Well, the only thing you can do is also to let people know. Okay, so that's the point I was making. So you, you, and when you say people, in this case, the investors, yeah, the, the investor community the investors. globally, you want them to also see your side of the story. Now let's go to something that Bright said at the end. So Bright's conclusion is, that you raise issues about the accuracy of what they've done, because as you said, you gave them information that it in fact Bryce says assumptions. What they, assumptions. Bryce says what they've done, spot on. I mean, quite frankly, the work of the rating agency, nobody can question it. That's their job. They have done their job. Nobody, but you are questioning it. No, you can't question them in terms of the output. That is their rating. Mm -hmm. Our job is what we have done. We are saying that based on the assumptions and the conversations that we had and the data that is also available to us, and the analysis that we have done, this is our strong view. Yeah, but okay. you're questioning the conclusions they've come to. You're questioning yes. not only the conclusions, how they arrived at it. So in essence, you're saying it is inaccurate. Yes. No, so, you know, I mean, uh, you know, we can disagree. And when we disagree, uh, we make our point very known. And our position is that the assumptions underlying a lot of the forecasts, honestly, from our view, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not accurate. Okay. Yes. Okay, so so it's not accurate. I mean, as far as you're concerned. Yes. Um, so, but the question I, I need to ask is before I, I bring in uh, Dr. Kesato Forsing, is um, why are we using? Why are you subscribing to three ratings agencies when clearly you've isolated one because all of them had, you know, what Fitch downgraded us, S and P kept us where they where we were last year. So your real issues with Moody's. Um, why are we not unsubscribing them? Why are we using the three? No, it's not. Uh, I mean, it's not. I mean, you know, it's as I explained, it's not, uh, you know, it is not like a fight with Moody's. You see, it is uh, the, just like analysts, you know, when you. But, but, on, but it's a requirement on the international market that you can use at least two. You're not yes, obliged yes, to use yes, three. Yes, yes, yes. So if you can use at least two, you don't need Moody's. Yeah, you know, but even don't look at it in terms of uh, government disagreeing with Moody's to the extent that. We want to do away with Moody's. In every analytical work of this nature, it will come a point that two people, because remember, the Ministry of Finance, in fact, the Ghanaian uh, institutions, Ministry of Finance and Central Bank, mm -hmm. also have experts. Mm -hmm. In the Ministry of Finance, you have a debt management division. Mm -hmm. There's also a credit, uh, you know, people who look at credit in yeah. the Ministry of Finance. Also, we even have rating advisors yeah. who work with us. So it is not about saying that, you know, Moody's has done something that you have to entirely avoid them. But it's important that we make clear our point of disagreement with Moody's.